hey welcome back to tutorial 4 and today's topic will be how to add and file how to add file attachment to your existing Jira issue from rest api using python so uh, 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 let me explain this thing so in the first tutorial we have created one issue so let me open my Jira. so if you see i have created multiple issues in the first tutorial so for example this is one of the issues uh, right but if you see here in this in this issue we haven't done any attachments so i can go ahead and at, uh, uh, like add an attachment like attachment could be anything and also this is very important to attach uh, like any reference for example if you already working in Jira or any of this uh, some uh, like agile uh, like uh, practice where they follow agile uh, framework so you will see that uh, either developer or the tester or your client or whoever is actually reporting the issue generally attach one file and in the file is going to contain anything like for example the bug or the the use case of the topic or maybe some client reference whatever thing so file attachment is very important so we know how to create the issue but we do not know how to uh, attach the file and also this file attachment is very important so um, I thought of like creating this tutorial now because if I do it in the uh, first tutorial then it will be very complex so now this is the tutorial number four and we got already got uh, like uh, seven or eight requests that how to attach file so that is why I thought of creating a separate tutorial now only okay so uh, again this will be uh, an uh, api kind of a thing or the api documentation so if you want to read uh, more about the api documentation where all the file attachment latest stuffs are uh, like written so you can go ahead with this link and this link has everything so now next thing is that uh, how to attach or something let me just yeah so if you just convert this thing from curl to python you will get the respective code but but let me explain you what this curl uh, does actually so if you uh, check here uh, to this url this url is actually this url in the url itself it is written that if you want to attach my file.txt to this issue you have to use this one so what is this this is the user id password this is a special thing you have to pass this thing in your header and after that you have to pass your uh, file tag with minus f okay and after that this url so this is going to be very simple now only thing is required that we have to convert this call into corresponding python okay so let me open my uh, python code so what i'll do i'll just take a uh, just take a copy paste of my last tutorial actually so hopefully just blindly copying this thing from my last tutorial because i don't need to i don't want to write everything so i think ultimately this part is okay but here actually i need to change something because header will not be required okay and i think i think i think payload is also not required only thing will be required here i think this one okay okay so let me this thing let me this thing okay so header if you see here they're saying something header is going to be this one like x alta cn token something like that so how to do that so we know already how to do that right because maybe we are watching this tutorial for uh, fourth time or maybe this is our fourth tutorial so what you have to do we have to copy and paste this thing okay and so our header has been created okay now one more thing is required that is files is going to be like this okay so what we are going to do in the file so it should be like this okay so hold on so again it will be comma separated low file something like this okay and it should be like this okay and our file will be I want to attach this file user list.csp so it should be user list.csp right name of the file and there should be another thing okay after that so this should be open and after that I have to uh, like open the file actually so it should be it should be user 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 list uh, user list.csp and after that i have to open it in a binary mode okay it should be rb okay so this is done but here it should be dictionary so maybe i can i can leave it like this okay hopefully uh, 
hopefully this will work uh, maybe yes I think that's it nothing else is required payload is not required so uh, in place of player load you can write files equals to files okay okay so files equals to files url header is here file equals to files and authentication is uh, already i have the token right so if i run this thing this will definitely work but the thing is that i need to change the api so ultimately until this part is fine and after that i have to write issue i am uh, from where i'm getting this thing this thing is here actually so it should be issue then my issue id then attachment so it should be it should be issue then issue id okay so i should take any of this issue id from here okay so it should be uh, tts1 let's say so tts-1 and after that maybe i can write attachments right attachments so if i run this thing this will definitely add this file to that issue okay so execute okay so python 3.7 tutorial 4.py okay so something has problem i don't know um, what is this problem yes, files files authentication is this i don't know problem is actually here so <laughs> I forgot to put this thing so this is this is always happens with me okay so this is normal thing you can't skip this sort of error and it should be like this okay so when you do copy paste you have to do copy paste wisely because I just copy paste it uh, from here actually blindly from here here so that is why it, uh, it okay so I think this is fine let me just run through this thing yeah I got the response hopefully this is done so let me go here and let me click on this issue see user list.csp attached okay so now let's test one more time with this issue i have no attachment for this thing okay let me close this thing let me change this thing and let's execute okay it's done so let me click this thing see the attachment is here okay i can i can download the attachment right the file okay that's it this is very simple guys i hope you guys understood the concept so hopefully in the next video 